essentially a community building project that sought to bring the community of Vadness Heights closer together by working towards a common goal. In this project, we engaged the entire community of Vadness Heights to individualize over 10,000 one-inch wooden square tiles, which in the end came together to create this image of trees reflecting in the water. This challenge of trying to include the entire Vadness Heights community, whether that be people that work in Vadness Heights, people that live there, people that grew up in Vadness Heights, including all of these people in one mural project is pretty overwhelming, but also really exciting. Initially, I was really skeptical. Uh, uh, I guess the gentleman's left. I'm not an art person, as I said at the council meetings. Okay, I can't use my thinking because I'm so conservative on that area and, and run the. And, and, put my thinking in front of all these people and, and say no. I had to think of what most people in the community probably would want. And so I thought, yes, they would like this. So I said, well, you know, I gotta take a chance on this. Submitted a bid to Carly and the advisory committee which was accepted and so our clients are painting 9,000 of those 13,000 tiles. What I think is especially symbolic about that is oftentimes people who have disabilities are regrettably marginalized in a community. And this is so symbolic because in this case they're going to cover every inch of our community landscape because they will have painted all these tiles. This is getting information out to people. A donated billboard along Highway 35E in Badness Heights spread the word about the Make Your Mark project in a big way, and it didn't take long for people to start showing up ready to take up a tile and make it their own. The response we got from the community was awesome. I thought people would really be engaged with this because it, it is very it's personal to people. People can get their loved ones involved and their friends and their neighbors. That doesn't surprise, well it surprised me we had over a thousand signed tiles the first weekend. Now that, wow, people do really care about this. We already have so much paperwork on the project. But people are being asked to fill out, you know, name as they, as they would like to have it in the key. Um, there's a place for them to do some sketches, which is kind of fun to kind of see what their creative process involves. Just as we're starting to do this, all of these little stories are coming out. And all of these stories about you know, what this one tile means to this one person and how this tile is kind of a representation of their life in this community. It's a huge story, you know, volumes could be written on the story, and we're gonna have 11,200 of these stories within one work. So I think the end result is gonna be more dazzling and more powerful than I can even wrap my head around at this point. Why I wanted to have a tile was I thought I'll always be a part of this community. And it's really funny just to see what people want to put on their tile and what they would like to have be their memory in this community. As a teacher, um, I always sign everything with a heart because I don't know that I should write love out there. So I put a heart and I just put my initials. And I thought any of my students who saw that would know that was me. So overwhelming to see how the community rallied around this project. Over the summer we did more events than I can actually count. <laughs> Night to Unite, you know, National Night Out, was a huge event for us. We organized seven different volunteers and had these volunteers go out to 15 different block parties around the Badness community. Um, and in that time, managed to do it. So, you know, just one, one example of one evening in which we got a lot of people from the community involved and engaged in the project.
We're really very excited to have Carly Schmidt unveil uh, our public art uh, installation. It's been evening. a great opportunity for members of the Badness Heights and broader communities to become part of a, a bigger effort, and we're really excited to give them the opportunity to be part of that. We started this back in April and completed it at the Heritage Days Festival. Um, and the idea with this piece is to create a reflection or a community portrait. Um, and the way we did that is... The community of Venice Heights is so much to be proud of. This is such a tremendous accomplishment. And I think, and what I've heard along the way, is this is an accomplishment that not many people thought we would be able to achieve. And the fact that we were able to reach our goal and have Every single tile that's in this, personalized by someone in the community, is really just, I mean, it's awe-inspiring. So, if you won't mind, we'll count to three. One, two, three! <laughs> It's been funny wearing the title of artist in this project, and I've talked to many people about this before because, you know, oftentimes I'm, I'm introduced as the artist that's doing the Make Your Mark mural project, when the reality is, you know, I'm one of over 10,000 artists that lent their hand to this canvas. Yeah.